Okay guys, so um, I recently had to change this robot because um, my previous robot did have a lot of uh, lifts errors. Uh, so this is a works uh, WR155E uh, model uh, from Landroid works, right? Um, today I'm gonna show you how to um, hack one of the sensors which is located in these wheels um, in order to avoid getting all these lift errors which usually uh, leads um, to a total uh, stop of the robots. The reason is that these wheels here, uh, as you can see, uh, are moving, right? And when the robots um, do detect that the two wheels are in this position, it will send you a message which is lift error. Um, it thinks that the robot uh, is lifted, but actually uh, it is not really. And um, I can tell you that I ran my old, my previous ro robots like this for weeks without having any issues. Um, and for all the people who like me actually, uh, do have to go back in their garden several times a day uh, to restart the robot again and again and again. Uh, I think taking 10 minutes to operate that little hack uh, is something useful that you should consider to do. Um, this is obviously touching a security feature, right? So uh, if you are not comfortable uh, or if you do have kids uh, playing in the garden, you would su suspect uh, being able to, you know, take the robot and lift it, uh, then I would definitely tell you not. Uh, to follow this guide, right? Um, for yeah, obvious security reasons. So let's go. Um, let's see if we do see the robots good enough. It looks like, yeah, it looks okay. So uh, I already removed several of these, okay, of these screws here. Um, so you do have one here one there and one here and the fourth one which is here so this will allow you to remove the from the top the top element which is here okay so you can easily remove it so one thing um these two little buddies here are uh, magnets um it has some importance I'm not telling you this. If you guys plan to hack the Landroid and try um, to test it without re-putting these two magnets in contact with the sensor which is inside the Landroid, you will get an error and it will never start again. So uh, just for you guys to know, if you want to hack your Landroid, open it for any reason, you have to remount it completely so that these two little magnets will be in contact with the sensor or it will never start again, okay? So this is the top part and now we do have several screws here that we want to unscrew, of course. Oops. So the first one, the first one is here. Uh, I will need... I would definitely recommend you to use one of these, you know, extensions. Okay, so we remove one, one screw here. This is number one. There is another one which is a little bit tricky because it's just here beneath the, the, the motor here, you know, with the blades, right? So you really need to go there deeply. Does it work? That one is really not easy to remove for some reason. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I do not have a video editor, so you will, guys, have to be patient and watch me doing this in real time okay, here it is come on yep 
There's a third one here. Okay. Um, this one and this one seem to be needed. Yeah, I, it looks like we have to remove them as well, actually. I do it every time anyway. Another one here. Oops. So here in this hole, there is another one. You need to be really, really sure. Okay. Got it. Let me check. I think that's it for now. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. That's about it, six screws, okay. So, let's turn that little baby and show you that there is here, you have to push, of course, right, in order to allow, to remove the, the main cover, right? And gently, gently, we will start removing the top part. Maybe will it be easier if I just turn it around like this. Okay. Okay, let's go for it. What we want to find here are actually the sensors, which are connected to the wheels. And one more time, um, the element which is allowing to detect if something was moved or if, if the, 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 the wheel, one of the front wheels, is lifted, right? Uh, our magnets, so. Okay. It's a little hard to open, but if you, oh, of course, sure. It couldn't work because I forgot to remove one more of these ones, which is here located just next to the rain sensor. Okay. Let's do this. Oh yeah, now you can see it's living all alone. Yeah, look. Here we are. Okay, don't be shy. You see, it is just opening without any issue now. Okay, and here we go. So we will remove the cover, right? And how is it looking inside? So inside, oh yeah, one thing. Actually, there are two cables here, um, which are used to connect this device, which is the ACS. Um, what you want to do is to remove the plastic cover this one is new, so I didn't expect this to happen. You want to remove the plastic cover here. Using a flat screwdriver head, you know, something really easy like this. Ah, oh, shit. I do not remember. with a smaller one. Okay. It starts to... Okay. I do not remember how I removed this. First time I did. Okay. Here, you, here we go. As you can see, these two cables here are actually creating a resistance, right? So you just put them like this and now you can see it's lifting without any issues. Okay, what do we have in there? So we do have the display. Be careful because there is this little wire here that you don't want to break, right? And so here's the deal. You can leave it like this, right? It's not a problem. I will try to show you how it looks. So what do we want to do here? Um, actually, it's simple. As you can see, we do have these two 
nice wheels. You don't have to hack the two wheels. The reason is simple, actually. Um, the two wheels need to be lifted to get that error message. So you can just select the one you like the best, left or right. Okay, I will take the left one. Cool, where is my screwdriver head? Here it is. There are three extra screws that you need to unscrew here. One, two, three. And let's go for it. You need to turn it around like this. You turn it like, okay. And it will lift, okay? So I just lifted it. So you can see that there is this little sensor. It's actually very simple the way it works. Here, you do have a magnet, okay? Hello, magnets. There we are. Okay, so that little magnet is, of course, moving with the wheels, okay? And when the magnet is not connected to the sensor anymore, you get the lift issue. So this is why you get the lift error. So for everyone looking at this video that has a little bumpier uh, land, you know, this is gonna be a problem. So what do we want to do? We want to trick the device to make it think that the magnet is in contact with the sensor all the time. So, as that guy said, if you can't fix it with duct tape, just put some more duct tape, right? And duct tape is my best friend, I'm not joking. So you just take some duct tape. Okay. And with the duct tape here, what you want to do actually pretty easy up you want to tape these two buddies together right best friends for life okay you see just like this of course you can do it maybe in a most you know cosmetical way if you like I really don't care I just want this to work now the magnets and the sensor are connected they are married for life so what do we want to do now we just want to put this somewhere else here let's say right and we can close we can close our land rates again so where is the plastic oh yeah there it is this you can just put back and then you repeat the same steps, right? You put it back. Be careful, you guys. Remember, if you have an ACS device, want to put these wires back in that hole, right? You put the cover back, you close it. Don't forget the magnets I told you at the beginning of the video, so you need to remount everything. And you can believe me, I had lift errors and my Landroid was stopping every single day several times a day which was terrible since i did this hack of course i'm losing a security feature but my landroid did mow for 10 days in a row so if you want to give it a shot good luck and please let me know if it helps because i think this is something uh, works should uh, allow his customer its customer to do i mean you know disable this feature if you have you know not the most perfect loan okay well i hope you enjoyed this video see you later